Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows multiple findings including cholelithiasis, ureteric stones, multiple ureteric stones, multiple vesicle stones and benign prostate hypertrophy. You can see the gallbladder liver and multiple stones are seen in the body and neck of the gallbladder. The patient is aged about 67 years, male patient. You can see the stone shadowings. Now, these stones lie in the neck and body of the gallbladder. These are the stones. These stone measures about 35 to 40 millimeters. Now this is the right kidney and it looks echomeco normal. No stone or sign of obstruction is seen. It measures about 12.1 millimeter into 4.8 12.1 cm, 4.8 mm with cortical thickness normal. Now you can see the left kidney and left kidney shows gross hydronephrosis with hydroureter. You can see this kidney showing gross hydronephrosis. This kidney measures about 8.9 cm into 5.6 cm with cortical thickness of about 5.5 mm. So this loss of cortical thickness is due to this hydronephrosis and hydroureter as stones are blocking the ureteric pathway. The ureters are blocked by the multiple stones. You will see the tracing of the ureter. No stone is seen in the kidney. Now you can see the tracing of the left ureter. And this is the left ureter. Now you can see the multiple stones lie in the upper one third of the left ureter that is in the proximal portion of the ureter. Now, now the stones are seen, stone shadowings and these stones lie before the ureter crosses the iliac vessels in the upper one third. You can see the shadowing of the stone and these stone measure about 36.9 millimeter collectively. This is the left ureter. And these are the stones, multiple stones. And as you have noticed, the size of the multiple stones collectively measures about 36.9 millimeter. And it is, the ureter is blocked. And due to this blockage, the renal cortical thickness is decreased. Now you can see the urinary bladder and you can see the multiple stones lying at the base of the urinary bladder. These are the stones. And these stones seen in the base of the urinary bladder, they collectively measure about 40, more than 40 millimeter. 
now again you can see the these stones now these stones measure about 47.4 mm collectively and due to these the presence of multiple stones in the urine urine bladder and in the urine in the left ureter and prostate is also enlarged all these factors make the left kidney function affect the left kidney functions and the cortical thickness is decreased now the prostate and this prostate measures about 50.7 mm width with height 36.8 mm 49.3 mm depth and the weight is 50.52 g quite significantly enlarged prostate now all these findings should be summarized in one picture again you can see the galvanized stones multiple stones now summarizing all these findings in one picture you can see the multiple galvanized stones now you will see the left kidney and the kidney shows grass hydronephrosis with ideo ureter with loss of cortical thickness parenchymal ecogenesis is increased now you will see the ureteric stones left ureteric stones multiple ureteric stones seen in the proximal portion of the ureter these are the stones lying in the upper one third of the left ureter and in last you will see the both the findings in the urinary bladder multiple mosaical stones and the enlarged prostate benign prostatic hypertrophy these are the galvanized stones this is left kidney and this is left ureter and th these are the multiple stones quite a large number of multiple stones are seen in the ureter i think you have maybe you have noticed are seen in any patient thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks